like like I want to know like you know when you get started like I you know before you know most people don't realize what it takes to you know to be a top athlete but before we even dive into it I know just tell me what what's your day like in terms of your workouts uh my day so I start my day off you know waking up of course uh recognizing the blessing that I have to wake up uh take my days to class and after that I go straight home I get some field work in with my trainer, Oppie Main. Shout out to Oppie Main, uh, Titans coach at CSM. Uh, and then after that, I'll come here at Limo, get some recovery in and a lift. And that's about it. See that? Like this man, you know, this is this is a positive thing that I like, man. Like before, you know, he gives, you know, thanks to God for waking up, first of all. You know, you know, I mean, that that's just, you know, you you can't you can't get better than that. So that's the first thing, man. You thank God for waking up. And then he gets right into his day. You notice that he goes to school, does his schoolwork. You know, then he gets down to the athletics. So for those of you all that are trying to, you know, get to that next level, it's not, you know, it's not about, you know, just me, 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 me. Sometimes you got to, you know, put it all together. And this sounds like you're putting it together. Now tell us, you know, like how how did you get into the sport, man? Like what, you know, before we start breaking down football, basketball, all of that stuff, how did you get into the sports itself? How did you become uh how, how did you become an athlete or want to know that you want to be an athlete? Uh so you know, I've always wanted to play football. You know, my parents we had some medical issues with my hearing, but uh my head coach convinced me into playing football and I talked to my parents about it and I convinced them. And once I stepped onto the field, you know, I fell in love with the game just like that. You know, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when someone, you know, finds a sport that they love, you know, but you, you actually happen to be good at two sports, you know, both basketball and football, you know, how do you feel? How do you, you know, uh, find a contrast between the two sports, you know, and then playing in both, you know, uh, and excelling at both. So how do you find, you know, going from football to basketball and vice versa? Uh, so, you know, basketball includes a lot of conditioning and uh, footwork, and that really helps uh, boost my skill work in football. You know, feet work is a big part of uh, being an old lineman. You got to stay light on your feet, being able to brace impact on the uh, uh forward movement so you got to be able to stop that and yeah that was basically it you know my body frame gave a lot of coaches uh oohs and ahs and wows and yeah that's basically my lane my frame and everything I liked about it that is excellent that is excellent now what about you know, um, like the expectation transitioning, because I know you're getting ready to go to college now, right? You know, yeah. so what, what, how are you preparing or what are the expectations that you are preparing yourself in transitioning from high school to college sports? Because, you know, in, co you know, in high school, uh, you know, everyone, you know, is kind of like, you know, in, in that mode and you have a few exceptional athletes. But when you get to college, especially, you know, the big boy colleges, right? You know, everyone yeah. is moving at a fast pace. So how are yeah. you preparing yourself and uh, what kind of expectations for the transition from high school to uh, uh, to college sports? You know, for the preparation phase, I've kind of already started that. Uh, I have a trainer who was a former D1 center. up in Maine, like how I mentioned before, a Titans coach at CSN. So I've been going at it in the film room, you know, watching uh, – Different, different schools on YouTube and how they run their offense, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll be in the weight room with him as well. And then we'll get some field work, try to perfect our craft. You know, technique is always important to the game. And then expectation-wise, you know, I expect a lot of uh, a lot of ups and downs, but I'm made, I'm made to stay strong through it all, you know. All the ups and downs, are, I look at it as blessings. That, absolutely, absolutely, and 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 as someone that played college uh, college sports, um, I I have to you know I'll give you one tidbit of advice is that you know everyone is in the same boat. You feel like you you know uh, at times right that these people you know they so you know they may be a little faster or they may be doing this, 
like everyone is, you know, where you are now at at this at some point, you know, in their college career, right? Everybody goes through it. So the best thing that you can do is, you know, continue that hard work that you've been doing. What brought you here? You know, uh, don't, you know, when you get to that college, don't say, okay, I've arrived, right? Because the goal is to take you to the next level, right? So you want to stay with that motivation. I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. You seem like a very uh, well-rounded young man. Uh, but, you know, just that, that piece of advice, keep that same motivation once you get to that uh, to that level. Because and that kind of brings me to the uh, to my next pr- uh, question. How do you handle the pressure and the setbacks and what you know strategies, right, do you uh, use to stay mentally focused? Because, you know, you mentioned, you know, uh, there's going to be ups and downs, you know. That, so, you know, when those setbacks come, how do you handle it? You know, and then how do you stay mentally focused, you know, uh, you know, to stay on course with what you need to do? Yeah, like I said, the ups and downs. I look at them as blessings at the end of every day, you know. I kind of look back and think to myself that this is all part of the journey. The journey is a beautiful thing. It's not all about the destination, you know. The work the work you put in, you know, the time you spend around people, and that's, that's all that matters, not the destination. Wow, wow. What an awesome young man. And we wish him all the best on his new journey. And join us on December 17th as he will be making his announcement at what university he's taking his talents to. Please hit the like button, subscribe. And of course, you know, check on our YouTube page, you know, for the full podcast. Till next time, it's Kings Leo Guderi.